Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial I'll demonstrate how Stripe Payments product can be inserted using the new WordPress Gutenberg editor. The Gutenberg editor differs in the way it works more like a page builder to display what your content will look like on the front end of your site. So if you've created a product and you would like to offer this item or service to your customers from a post or a page, the shortcode for the product can be copied from the Stripe Payments product page. So you can find all your shortcodes directly across from the product that you have created. While this is effective, using the Gutenberg Editor Stripe Payments block allows you to bypass even needing to copy a shortcode. So to insert a product using the editor, simply create a new WordPress post or page or edit existing content. So I'll be creating a new page. I'll go to the Pages menu and I'll click Add New. Once your page is loaded, you can add a title by simply typing it here and then you can click the plus button to add a new block. Once you've clicked the plus button, you'll need to scroll down to common blocks where you'll be able to find the Stripe Payments product button. If you've previously used this button, it will appear in the most used. So I've just used it previously, so I'll click on that under most used. From there, if you've hovered onto that block and clicked on it, the block menu here on the right hand side will be available. It's here that you'll need to go to product and select your product from the drop down menu. So I'll insert the basic adults t-shirt. As soon as I click that, I can see that my product is inserted into this page. All the details of that product will be shown there. If you'd only like to show the buy now button, perhaps you're going to write up a different blurb for this product, then you can click show button only this toggle button and that will only display the button for that product. So for this example, I'll be showing all the details. So I'll leave that unchecked so that we can see all the details for that product are here and I didn't even need to copy a shortcode. Using the Gutenberg Editor Stripe Payments shortcode inserter button is super easy and a hassle free approach, especially if you need to insert more than one product on a page. So if I wanted to insert another product, I do the same, I click the add block button, I can go down to the common blocks, I can click on the Stripe Payments product button, click on that. Now I'll click on that to make sure I'm on that block because I don't want to be somewhere over here because then you'll see the block button isn't actually selected. So clicking on that Stripe Payments product, the block button becomes selected. I can choose my product from the drop down. that will insert it. And then I can choose if I'd like to only show the button or I can leave that unchecked to show all the details. So now that I've inserted them, I can either save the draft or I can publish, which I'll go ahead and do. And then we can view the page on the front end of my site. And here it is. I can see that I've inserted both of my products onto one nice page and they've got two different buy now buttons. So that's basically all there is to using the Gutenberg editor to enter a Stripe Payments product or service that you've previously created. If you haven't created any products yet, you'll need to go back to your dashboard and create a Stripe Payments product by clicking the Add New Product button, and then you'll be able to insert that using the Gutenberg Editor. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on using the Gutenberg Editor for WordPress. If you have any further questions or queries on how to insert one of your Stripe Payments products, please comment them below or give us an email.